So the first things first is this part parameter at the very top. It requires uh, an input. If you read the documentation on the side right here, it tells you what the expected value is. So in this case, it says set the parameter value to snippet. So just add snippet in there and everything else is optional. So for us, we're gonna be finding uh, live streams in a particular area on earth and we are going to see what we get. Uh, now keep in mind, take all your results with a grain of salt because uh, this isn't true metadata uh, from live streams. Because if you live stream on a computer, uh, there really is no GPS associated with that file. You could just manually enter in where you are streaming from and you're gonna get a bunch of garbage results from this. This would only really be valuable if it's like a mobile live stream or a mobile upload. Uh, in that case, uh, the information might be associated with whatever video that you're searching for. So keep that in mind. If you're to search like all live streams down in Antarctica, you're probably going to be getting a lot of garbage results. If you're searching for a like very specific military base somewhere in the world, might not be. You never know. So just keep that in mind. Uh, so what we are going to do is we are just going to pick uh, some coordinates on Earth. Uh, the easiest way to do that is with uh, Google Maps. So if you were to go here and you were just to select like a location somewhere. Um, let's see. Let's do, I don't know. Let's do the very top of Greenland. I, you know what? Let's do Alert Canada. Why not? So I'll do this. Uh, I will throw the coordinates into here. And the next thing that's required is the location radius. So we'll do a 50 mile radius. Now, if we want to do like a live stream, uh, if you go down to event type, this is the parameter for that. So there's only three acceptable values, completed, live, and upcoming. So live would mean, well, it's obvious, it's a live stream happening at the very second. Completed is a DVR variant, uh, which would requ require an extra parameter to be filled in at the very end. Uh, so in this case, we're going to be looking for previous live streams within 50 miles of Alert Canada. So 50 miles, max results, we'll set it to 50. That is the max amount that will be returned in one API call. Uh, luckily, you could do pagination, I think that's what it's called. Uh, so you could get all the results. We're not gonna worry about that here. We're gonna order everything by date. So if we scroll down, order, you can do order it by date, rating, relevance, title, video count, view count, all that. So we're just gonna do by date. Page token is what you would use for that pagination bit at the end. Publish before and after, if you wanna narrow your search to a specific time. Q will allow you to do things like not and or and all of that. Region code will allow you to see if a video is viewable in a particular country using the two digit ISO code. Um, and oh, and at the very end, uh, since we are doing like a live stream DVR, the video type is required. So in this case, you'll have to put video in, but it also accepts playlists and channels and such like that. Um, so we will put in video. And again, I don't guarantee that we're gonna get any results. We got two results, which is kind of interesting. So we have uh, one result right here. The title is CYRB to CYLT 930 Olympic Air Aero Club Division. That was uploaded on October 26, 2022. And then the other one we have is let's see approaching and landing or that's the description title is cylt so we got two results of live streams that happened in alert canada so if we want to view those the return right here is video id you just copy this str or this uh, string right here and all you need to do is like just find a random video just any video and that the watch question mark v equals Remove the string after V equals and paste in that. So this appears to be a computer live stream. Again, take everything with a grain of salt. 
I wasn't expecting anyone to actually live stream a flight into Alert Canada, but you can see that they tagged it as Alert Canada. We'll just for shits and giggles, look at this other one. And again, I'm not expecting it to be real, but we could go ahead and remove all of the filters we have in place that make it a live stream. And we could just like look at videos that are up in Alert Canada. So again, another flight sim X thing. So we, what we are going to do is we're just going to look for videos. So uh, we'll keep all that the same um, event type. We'll leave that blank. And then at the very bottom, video, hit execute. And now we have 89 results, which includes videos uh, as well as live streams. So let's take a look at what we got here. So we have the title, September 26, 2023. This is a video and not a live stream because it didn't show up in those initial results we got. So let's see what we got here. I don't know why they uh, tagged Alert Canada, but they did for some reason. So let's see what else we have. Top, uh, top Deceive Ink Moments. I doubt that's going to be Alert Canada. Let's see. Memes I Stole Part 1. Uh, Spog Bob. Probably not up in alert. You can use your judgment here. Me when, probably not. Uh, me when, probably not. Uh, Ty Lung edit. You know, I doubt that's really what, you know, it's probably not up there. Title, Clash Royale, probably not. Getting my first epic crate in, uh, in MCC Island. You know, you never know. They might be doing that in the Canadian military, getting my surf's first silver treasure. Tre holy shit. I'm not even going to try that. Uh, keep going. Keep going. Something about Mario. Uh, a moment in time. That could probably be something. Let's find out. See what we get. I mean, you never know. That could be up in Canada. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's see. We have not a cup of coffee. Yellow binder. Can you guys hear my cat out there? He's like screaming to be held. I'm not even kidding. Watch this. Not even kidding, ladies and gentlemen. He is happy as a clam right now. You get the point. Uh, you could do whatever you want with this. And like I said, take it with a grain of salt. You might get some things that yield some decent results, but just keep that in mind. So now let's go ahead and hunt down the first live stream ever. Now, the first thing we could do is actually, I'm not even going to look that up because I feel like that's cheating. So what we are going to do is we're going to remove the location tag right there, remove that. We're gonna keep the max results at 50. Channel ID, we'll leave that there. Uh, event type, we'll do completed, date. So we're order it by date. And let's see, queue string, safe, video. And then we will do published, it's published. Published before. So we'll do 2010. 0101. See what we get. Invalid argument. Uh, published before. Illegal timestamp format. Must end with Zulu. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. So we will do go back up here. Published before. Copy this format right there. I'm a silly willy. See what we get. Execute. Zero results. I figured that. I did not think that there would be any live streams before 2010. Makes sense. Let's bump it up a year. 
267 results. Okay, so we are now cooking with gas, ladies and gentlemen. So what we are going to do is we are going to take the next page token and we are going to go to page token, add that there, execute, next page token, that, add it there, execute, do that. Okay, next page token. And when, when this field is no longer present, that means we hit the very end. We hit the very end. So if we scroll all the way down, this is the first live stream ever published to YouTube. So on November 8th, 2010 at 1204 uh, GMT, this was the first live stream ever. Video ID equals that. Let's see what we get. So, so let me validate this, but I might have found a gem. If this was the first live stream ever on YouTube with 66 views, just saying. Let's uh, let's try this again. Let's remove. So we'll remove the page token and hit execute. Ladies and gentlemen, 12-20-2010. Ladies and gentlemen, this, I present to you, the first live stream ever onto YouTube. 66 views. Slate Cam has no idea that at least this is the, the, the first live stream on YouTube that was DVR'd. I don't know if there is any other way to validate if there is live streams before this, but this is the first one ever DVR'd. I think that's pretty cool. Just, you know, being able to find that information just like that. Um, so yeah, I think that's awesome. You know, 66 views. I'm going to be the first one to comment and leave my mark on history. This is the first YouTube live stream ever. I think that's awesome. I think that's the coolest thing I could probably say that I that I I found. The first YouTube live stream ever. November 8th, 2010. Streamed live. Can't make that up. Um, okay, and then the last bit. This is for the investigators. If you want to get time stamps, time stamps and metadata about a live stream, we'll take this one and we will go over to the videos search right here. We'll click on list. And what we are gonna do is we are going to put in ID, the video ID, and then we'll do live streaming details as the part. And then we are just gonna do execute and voila, we have some things right here. We have the actual start time in Zulu, the actual end time in Zulu, the scheduled start and end right there, which doesn't really matter too much, but the actual start time and end time right there in Zulu, just so if someone live streams a crime, you can cross coordinate when a crime happened with that time right there. So Anyways, that is it for this video. If y'all enjoy content like this, please hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button with the bell notification enabled so you can get notified anytime I post a new video. You might have noticed I uploaded this video previously. I deleted it because supposedly the sound was really not great, so I remade it. And I think this one's actually a little bit better um, than the one I already uploaded. So anyways, that is it for this video. Y'all take care. Goodbye.